Croc took three. Like, literally, like, second before, like, I almost hit him, man. It was fucked. And my brother, like, thank God, he was, like, looking straight. He's like, yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. And then you all slammed on the brake so hard. Yo, 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 welcome back to the Gale Chamber. I'm your host, Harv Gill, and we are on episode 4 now. I'm here alone again today for this episode. I'm pretty sure Nav will be back <clears throat> on the next podcast. Uh, but yeah, uh, whenever it's me, it'll probably be more storytelling. But uh, yeah, when Nav's back, it'll be more like normal, you know, conversation kind of thing. But yeah, what you call it? <laughs> it's funny, because every time uh, I'm on the mic, my parents think I'm... Uh, talking to my friend this shit but uh they don't know i'm actually like recording a podcast or whatever because like whenever i'm gaming and shit like you know i'm like you know talking to my buddies on the like party chat and stuff so they think i'm like doing that right now but they don't like get they don't understand like the fucking like the like the this day and age if you know what i mean like they're, they're so like outdated back in the day kind of thing like they're stuck to their root you know what i mean like, yeah, so they think I'm fucking, like, talking, playing with my buddies right now and talking to my friends, but I'm actually fucking recording a podcast. It's funny because, uh, they, they just recently got an app for their work, and, uh, like, you know how, like, you can check, like, your hours and, like, on, you know how, like, bank apps now, like, you can just check all the shit on the app instead of going in person? So they recently just fucking got, like, a uh, uh, like, an app for their work so they can check, like, you know how many hours they work the vacation hours like all their paid stuff and shit and yo fuck let me tell you holy shit such a pain in that like teaching these guys how to like manage apps and stuff like fuck me and my brother always gotta like like fuck i'm pretty sure every like brown like if your parents are like my parents like they're not like used to technology or in this time of age like, then you know where I'm coming from, but if your parents are, like, they've been here long enough, they know, like, the modern shit, then you probably, probably, they probably won't relate to you, but, yo, my parents, holy shit, they're, like, on a different level, man. Like, every, okay, the thing they don't understand is, like, as much as I want to teach them, like, they're never gonna learn. Cause, like, when they get a new phone, like, they don't under, like, fuck, okay, like, the best way I can explain it, like, for example, like, a Facebook account, right? You have a Facebook account. They, like, uh, okay, I make an account for them, you got your email, password, or whatever, right? Like, a month later, they'll forget that shit. And then I'm like, okay, what's your, you know, fucking email password? And they'll be like, oh, I don't know, like, uh, you did it one time, I can't remember. I'm like, fuck, man, I gotta make a new account for you, and then all your fucking, like, friends and shit are linked to your old account, so if I make a new account, you're gonna tell me to add all those friends again, and it's just a whole, like, a whole process, and, like, fuck, my mind, like, a next level, man, like, fuck, it's too hectic, and then that goes along with, like, WhatsApp, like, YouTube, like, emailing and all that shit, they just don't understand, like, keeping your email and password in one place and how to like like just manage it you know what i mean like we like us now like our age like just our group of people we know how to manage that kind of shit because uh obviously like fucking we grew up in the terra but these guys like they ne- they don't know anything about like smartphones are so new to them so they're just like, fuck, man, it, it's just so annoying sometimes, so I try to make my brother, like, deal with all this shit, cause, like, fuck, when they come to me, they already know, like, I don't want to do it, but, like, fuck, at the end of the day, like, what can you do, right, Do we have to fucking put up with it, but, yeah, so, <clears throat> that, that with my parents, uh, it's funny, cause, the uh, we were watching the new, like, some Punjabi news channel thing the other day, and, uh, it was some, like, Indian politics going on. And the funniest shit was, uh, there was some, like, uh, like, election thing going on. I don't know, some, like, president guy talking and shit. <laughs> and on the bottom right corner, there was, like, some guy, 
like doing sign language, obviously for like the deaf people, right? Cause they can't hear. So like the hard of hearing. So obviously like, like we, I knew what was going on. My parents, my parents were looking at it. They're like, what the hell is this fucking idiot doing in the corner, right? Like waving his hands around this shit. But like, I, yo, I was laughing, even though it's not funny, but like, I was like, oh my God, these guys don't even know like what the hell is going on, right? So we had to explain to them like, yo, the, that's like a translator for deaf people. But it's hard to explain, but like in the moment, it was so funny because like the way they like are talking, they're like, buddhu ki karinda, like jamle hoya, meaning like the guy like fucking clumsy, doesn't even know what he's talking, like doing and shit in the corner, right? But fuck, it was too fucking funny, man. <clears throat> but anyway, fucking, uh, the Raptors fucking lost game seven, man. Fucking we, me and my brother, we were pumped to watch a game. And, uh, so we ordered some food. From like uh, Chicken World, it's like five ten minutes away from our house, and uh, we were pumped to watch a game. So we went to go pick up the food because I'm like, yo, let's go pick up the food. And so we left during like mid quarter, like halftime, and we're like, yo, by the time we come back, should be good to go. Like, we should be back on time before the quarter starts. So we fucking went to yeah the restaurant, grabbed the food, and yo fucking because like I placed an order. I'm like, yo, when we get there, we'll just pick it up and come back quick, and then we'll. Be good to go, right? So I go there, and then we we get there, and then I'm like, yo, uh, yeah, I gave him my phone number, and they're like, uh, yo, are you sure you ordered from this location? I'm like, yeah, obviously. What the fuck? You're not fucking. This the only location here, man. The other one's like, fucking halfway across the town. And then she's like, uh, can you show me the number? And then I show them the phone number, and they're like, oh yeah, this is the right location. And they're like, hold up. And then I'm like, fuck, and back in my mind, I'm like, fuck, man, you guys probably didn't even, like, start making the food, they probably fucking forgot to, like, put down the order and shit, and then the me- I'm like, fuck, man, and then, like, the whole restaurant was packed, like, the people are, like, lined up and shit, so we went to the, like, the side to wait, and then I think these fucking idiots, like, they forgot to put our order down, so we had to wait, like, another 15 minutes, and then I'm like, fuck, man, the quarter probably started and shit, I'm like, fuck, whatever, right? And then we, so we, we got our food eventually. And then I'm like, yo, can I get some like, uh, honey mustard or like the mayo on the side, right? She's like, yeah, hold up. The fucking chick goes like, I don't know where the fuck she went. She went for like another 10 minutes. And she didn't even bring my shit. I'm like, yo, man. I'm like, what the hell, man? And she's like, oh, oh, hold up. And then she goes back again. She grabbed some random thought, put it in the bag. And then I'm assuming like, okay, she gave me the right shit, right? So we got in the car, fucking opened the bag. Fucking gave some random, like, like, I don't even know what it was. It was some, like, random, like, chili pepper, mayo shit, and then some other. I asked for honey mustard. She gave some, like, ra- like, I don't know what the hell it was, man. Some random, like, like, I, I don't even, the funny thing is, I don't even know what it is. I never opened it. So I'm like, fuck this. Like, she gave the wrong fucking thought, too. I choked. So, uh, we we're going on the way back. And yo, fucking scary shit happened. Uh, there was some random baba, like some, like, old guy. He, yo, this guy gave no fuck while so driving, right? And thank God my brother was fucking, like, looking at the road. Like, I don't know what the hell it was. Like, I, I was like, no, no, no. Like, even though, even though I'm driving, I should obviously be paying attention. Like, I wasn't texting or anything, but I was like, looking on the side, you know. But this random baba, like, gave no fuck. Just, he was riding a bike. Like, just, like, jaywalked with the bike or whatever, like, rode it across the street. Like, literally, like, second before, like, I almost hit him, man. It was fucked. And my brother, like, thank God, he was, like, looking straight. He's like, yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. And then, yo, I slammed on the brake so hard. Holy shit, I started panicking, man. I'm like, yo. I got choked, too, man. I started yelling at him and shit. I'm like, fuck, man. Like, my brother was fucking freaked out, too. Because, like, we actually, like, legit. Like, if my brother didn't say anything... Yo, that guy would have been hit, and yeah, he would have been fucked, like, I was like, thank god that guy was with me, holy shit, and that was another thing, man, I'm like, yo, that fucking, fucking foot dude, like, what the hell are you doing, man, like, these guys have, like, no, like, common sense, like, you shouldn't be, like, crossing the road like that in the first place, and the funny thing was, the, the light, like, the lights were, like, like, literally, like, like, 20 feet away, so I don't know why the hell he was, like, crossing from there anyway, but yeah, I was fucking heated, man, after that. And then we got home, and I'm like, fuck, man. Third quarter was already done, and then I'm like, yo, okay, fucking, 
whatever. Fucking at least we got one quarter left to go. But yeah, that was the that was the fucking photo baba story or whatever. <clears throat> but uh, another funny fucking story I have is the uh, we <laughs> it's another restaurant thing. But there was nothing uh, like no delay or, or on food orders or anything like that. But this one was the uh, it was funny. Uh, uh, it was me, Gersh, and uh, there was some other guy Beck and shit, and uh, we went to. A Boston pizza to grab food, right? And you know the funny thing is, a lot of people are gonna probably think, "Fucking well, making this shit up." But yo, we can ask these guys this shit. I'm not lying. Uh, even the last story, it's all true. You can ask my brother and shit. But even <laughs> this story, you guys are probably gonna be like, "Yo, this guy yapping all this shit." But yeah, you can ask Gersh or whatever for the guys that know, like Gersh or whatever. But you can ask him. Yo, we went to so we went to BP right to grab BP, obviously, and. <laughs> Uh, we got out of the car. There's some random guy, old, once again old guy, but he wasn't a baba. He was like some random like old white guy. He like he was probably actually like a crackhead, and he like so we got out of the car, and our guy Beck is like a like a border patrol officer. I don't know what the hell you call him, but that's what he does, right? He had a badge in the car, and. Uh, that guy, like, we walked past him, and he was acting so shady. And I'm like, yo, what the hell is wrong with this guy, right? And then, uh, like, we walked past him, and then we we got to the, like, near the uh, entrance of the restaurant. And the guy, like, kept looking back at us, right? And I got, like, kind of choked. I'm like, what the hell is this guy doing, man? Do you want, pro- like, beef or some shit? You want a problem? And I don't know why. I shouldn't even have done it, but I had the nerve. I was just like... Fuck the guy, man. That's why I just started yelling at him. I'm like, yo, what the fuck you want? You got a problem and shit? And then, uh, we're all, my, me, my brother, and Gersh, and, uh, Beck, we were all just, like, looking at him. And the guy's, like, if we had, like, a stare down, like, a, like, literally, like, 15 second stare down. And then I think he got mad or some shit because I called him out. Yo, this guy literally put his hand in a jacket, pulled out a fucking ass. And I was like, yo, what the hell? Out of nowhere. Fucking scariest shit ever, yo. And then, like, in that moment, like, you don't think some guy's gonna pull out a fucking ass, right? Like, the worst case, I'm like, yo, we're just gonna get into, like, a, you know, ver- like, quick verbal argument, and, yo, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, and then, you know, you done. And you go on your way, right? Gotta pull out an ass. Thank God this guy didn't rush it. Like, even though if he did, it would have been, like, a four-on-one scenario. But, like, still, there's a fucking act. Like, if one of us got hit, holy shit, would have been fucked. But this guy, I don't, he, didn't, he didn't approach us or anything. He's like, yo, like, like, uh, like, I don't know, I don't remember what he said. Like, you want a piece of me or some shit like that? We're just, they're like, uh, yo, chill, chill, like, let him do his thing, right? And then, uh, my buddy, and then after, I don't know, he just kind of, like, walked away. And then we are just, like, freaked out because, like, he saw us get out of our car. And then we, we just kind of, like, panicked, like, yo, what if he, like, smashes our car window, right? Obviously, because we don't want that to happen. And because our guy has the badge in the car, and if that gets taken, then he's fucked. For his, I don't know. I don't know how job works, but he probably needs that badge, obviously. So we kind of got spooked. We were like, uh, fuck, man. We just got back in the car. We drove to another BP because we don't want to fucking deal with that guy. And then it was funny because they're like, uh, Oh, you're so scared, like, uh, like, you talked, you had the nerve to talk to him, but didn't say shit after. I'm like, yo, obviously, fucking the guy pulled out an act, man. If the guy had an act, the guy didn't even have an act, obviously, then I would have kept on, like, you know, chirping or whatever. But I was fucking, I was, just, I was like, holy shit. Just, like, something so random that you don't expect. And then we went to a different BP, and then everything was chill over there. We bumped into, a Jenny Lata, Jenny, or Jenny Lata, you, for all the brown guys, they probably know who the hell he is. Been pretty uh popular, sturdy public figure over here, and we just uh, dapped him up and ate our food and bounced. <laughs> that was yeah, that was the BP story, man. That shit was fucked. But yeah, guys, uh, I apologize for any background noise you guys are hearing or any of like like this kind of shit, because I'm actually uh I'm actually recording this while I'm working and shit. Cause it kind of chill, like. I'm actually just working, like, you know, just talking to the mic and shit, so I don't have to, I don't have to do this on my own time, I can just do this while I'm working, which is pretty nice, 
But yeah, I was just gonna say, uh, I was just gonna keep this podcast kind of short, you know, just a little couple stories and shit. I'm not trying to do like a whole 30, 40 minute thing. I'm only, I'm only gonna go that length with like nav and stuff. But for solo podcasts, I like to keep it like, you know, 15, 20 minute kind of thing. But what I was gonna say was, uh, uh, we might be having a few guests come on like the next, not, 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 not the next episode, but like maybe like episode seven, eight or something like that. We might start bringing on guests and shit. And, uh, yeah, should be good. Uh, yeah. And, uh, also, uh, yeah, like I said before, now we'll be back on the next episode. And yeah, that should be it. That's all I wanted to say for this episode. Uh, but yeah, follow us on Instagram. We're all, all, we're on all podcast platforms, so Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all that shit. But yeah, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.